This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we are revisiting the Sunlight Alcatraz Chain and Mini U-Lock combination. I previously featured these in video number 553, where I demonstrated that this lock could be picked and raked open almost as fast as if you had the key. If you are interested in seeing that, I'll leave a link in the description below. But what we're going to do today is see how this lock fares against a brute force attack. And we're not going to do anything clever or subtle. What we're going to do is pull this shackle with enough force that we rip it right out of the lock body. But the tool that we're going to use to do that is something very small, about the size of a cigarette lighter. It's this small screw expander. This is actually an automotive tool that's designed for bending large cast iron exhaust manifolds that have been warped due to the constant heat cycling. It's a relatively simple tool with two bolts. One has a standard pitch thread, the other is reverse. And what that means is that when you turn the center section, the two bolts will expand apart. What we're gonna do is put that right underneath the shackle of this mini U-lock and let me hand tighten this down. And then we can put a wrench on this, and I think after several turns, we'll probably tear that shackle right out. Now the reason I have some confidence that it'll work on this sunlight lock is because, frankly, the shackle retention mechanism is really pretty poor. We only have a locking lug on one side. On this side, you can see there's just a small bend in the shackle that keeps it in the lock body. But the lug itself is actually pretty, pretty chintzy. You can see it's a small, thin, probably 3 seconds inch thick piece of steel. I doubt that's even hardened. If I had to guess what our mode of failure would be, I would say that locking lug is just going to shear off. So let's take all this down to the garage and we'll see how this sunlight lock fares against our screw expander. Okay, we're out in the garage. Everything is locked up. So let's get this screw expander in place and see if it's up to the task. Okay, I think that looks relatively straight. And let me get it hand tightened down. Now let's get a three quarter inch wrench and start tightening it down a little bit more. Now one of my concerns with this is that this lock will not be easy to keep in place as I'm tightening this down. If that is the case, what I'll do is get a small piece of pipe and put it over the end of this lock. that pipe in place. <clears throat> there we go. That should keep it pretty steady and also hopefully give you a better view. Okay, I think we're pretty much open now. I'm getting a little bit of resistance, but not much. And it looks like the mode of failure was exactly what I thought it would be. But let's take a close look and confirm that is the case. Okay, it looks like we sheared the locking lug off. Let me actually see if I can pull that piece out. There we go. You can see the shackle just sheared a piece of that locking lug right off, and it is half moon shaped, just like the shackle itself. So, I guess the screw expander is not a bad way to defeat a lock like this. Though it's still to be seen whether it's up to the task of a more robust lock like this, and we'll be testing a few others in the future. But that's all I have for now. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. 
If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.